Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Let's create a very small app today which is random color changer, right? Using App Lab, we can actually do it uh, in a very simple manner, right? So let's try and understand how to do that. Before starting off with anything, I would just like to remind you all guys that please do subscribe to my channel, folks, how if you're new here, okay? Also, if you're starting off with any playlist, please do watch the playlist videos in sequence for a better understanding of the concept and the tool, right? Yeah, so this is all. Let's get started with our random color changer app. So it's app. So I'm just clicking on app lab to start app lab project. Okay. Yes. Let's quickly try and understand what's the design going to be. So I'm just renaming this as random color changer. Random color changer, save. Design. Um let's choose a theme let's go with bubble gum today <laughs> okay so we just need a button right so this will be click me i think everything is good right yeah cool yeah let's not waste time on design part much right so let's uh, quickly go to code and see when you click on the button each time when you click on the button the background color of the screen is going to change okay so for every button click you're going to do this right that means on event is the first code block on event button one click right so we have to set property of the screen now because background color means it's some property right so set property getting set property on event means when button one click right what exactly we are trying to do we are setting the property of screen one isn't it so set property of screen one okay definitely it's not width which we are setting right it's background color we are setting okay and not to red but instead we want it to change to a random color each time when we are clicking on it right so i'm getting this rgb block We've already discussed about RGB colors, right? If you have not yet watched that video, please do go back to my channel and uh, watch that, right? In App Lab series itself, we have created something related to colors, okay? So just, just go and uh, go back and check, right? So now, if you write uh, some numbers here and then see, right? It will only change to one single color. See, it's changing to this color. After that, it's not changing to any color, even if I click on it, right? So that's because all three shades mix up to one color only, right? To give one color. And 0 0.5 is the um, transparency value. If I write one, you will get to see a darker shade of the color. That's it. Okay. So I'm just clicking on click me. So this is the original color. Previously, you saw that it was 50% uh, transparent actually. Okay. So, but now you can't see any other color. So randomly to see the colors, you actually have to go to math, get this random number, okay? So I'm just placing it over here on this and on this, okay? So on the three shades, these are RGB, right? Red, green, and blue. So for RGB colors, for red shade, you have 256 shades, shade value, okay, shade values, okay? And for green, you have 256 shade values and for green, so for blue, you have 256, okay? So when I say 256, that means the value starts from 250, sorry, 0 to 255, okay? 0 to 255 are the shade values, all right? So that's why in total, they became 256 shades, okay? So what is this 256 shades and all are? So for red color, you have 256 shades starting off with 0, ending at 255 okay like if i say um three shades right if it is starting from zero it will end at two only right like zero one two so becomes three shades right likewise zero to 255 becomes 256 shades okay i hope you got this let's write zero
zero to two fifty five, zero to two fifty five, zero to two fifty five. And lastly, I'm just writing one. Let it be. Uh, let it not be very transparent, right? Let it be like this. The darker shades of colors. Let's check this. Okay. Okay. This time it is giving teal kind of color. Now it's green. Now it's purple. Now it's another green. A different green shade. Different shade. So when I just click on it, it's randomly changing the colors. Okay. So this is a random color changer app. Right. So when you click on it, only then it is changing here. Right. Let's suppose if you don't want to click on it. Right. Just when only with one click you want it to continuously uh, execute itself. You can also do something like that. For that, you have to go to control and you have to use this time loop. We already have discussed about this time loop before. If you have not been watching my videos, please do go back to my channel and watch them in sequence. So time loop, if I just say hundred milliseconds, so for every hundred milliseconds, it will uh, change the color now. Okay. So I will only click on the button once, and it starts execution. I'm clicking on it once only. See, it randomly changes the color for every hundred milliseconds. If you say two hundred, it will become a little slower. So I'll just write two hundred now. Okay, reset and run. Click on it. Now it is a little bit slow, right? So if you write three hundred, it will be a little bit, little bit slow. Okay, and uh, yeah, I hope you understood this random color changer app. It seems like disco to me, <laughs> right? And, and it's so colorful, right? Wow, cool, cool, great. To look at it, so good. Yeah, I, like you can see, it's a very simple app with. Uh, only one single screen, and uh, it's quite simple to look at. And yeah, also the code is very simple, just because of uh, random number we have and RGB we have, right? So it's pretty simple. Okay, with the time loop, it's more simple. We only have to click on it once, and it just changes the color. If you're not using time loop, with every button click, it would change the color, right? So if you want to set it on the button also, you can absolutely do that. Let's take this set property on button one. So button one's background color only. Okay. So I'll just copy this. What? Sorry. I'm just getting this, placing it over here. Let's drag this out. Right. So now what happens? Even your button will change the colors randomly. Whoa. Cool, right? Nice. Nice. I like this. Yeah. So um, if you have any questions, please do comment in the comment section below, right? So we will be doing the same kind of content, um, okay? In this channel, you're going to get such kind of content only, right? Coding content, more of the coding content, yeah? So uh, you can also do let me know your concerns in the comment section below. Do like my videos, right? And if you have anything in specific to ask me and you want me to do that, yeah, you can definitely ask me. Okay, I'll be trying to do that. And um, yeah, I'll get back to you within a few days uh, with the solution, right? So yeah, this is all about from our, from our today's app, right? And I'll, I would just like to take your leave now. Okay, I'll meet you all guys in the next session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye, guys. Have a great day all. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel, Fox Hub. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great day, all. Thank you so much.